If you've been around for a while, then you probably remember this office guest room I redid last year. I wanted to take you down a quick recap on the work I did to get there and how I've transformed it into my baby's nursery. So stick around as I tackle this room for the third time and make it a space for my newest little one to enjoy. Initially, I removed the old wallpaper since it was peeling in some sections and it was painted over and we hadn't noticed it when we first moved in. We hired out a pro to repair the drywall and to texture to match the bottom portion and then I came in and painted the entire room. I built a butcher block desktop out of scrap wood, a CB2 daybed dupe, an awesome IKEA Keelix apothecary cabinet hack, and even some side tables. I added a small pop of color to the closet doors, a small accent wall with peel and stick wallpaper, and a couple of secondhand finds, giving me a cozy room I could work in and enough space for a guest. But as cozy as it was, I was now pregnant for the third time and expecting my second baby. When I found out I was pregnant for the third time, I was shocked honestly, but more so I was scared. I was afraid of what my mental state would be like in the postpartum phase, which is why I'm honored to be sponsored by BetterHelp in today's video. Connecting with a licensed therapist has never been easier. I wish I would have known about BetterHelp when I had my daughter and I wish I would have known I needed help sooner. Then maybe I wouldn't have suffered in silence for as long as I did. With BetterHelp, therapy sessions can be a phone call, a video chat, or even messaging, whichever is most comfortable for you. With over 30,000 therapists in their network, there's a wider range of expertise available to you. If your first match doesn't feel like the right fit, hey, no hard feelings. You can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. This time around, I am thankfully more informed and better prepared to try and steer away from feeling like there's something interfering with my happiness. If you've been around for a while, you know that physical health is important to me, but mental health is just as important. So we need to prioritize it just as much. Over 4 million people have used better health to live a healthier, happier life. So if you think you might benefit from therapy, consider better health. Get 10% off your first month using my link down in the description. Again, thank you to better health for helping us support our mental health. So my office space was short-lived because just a couple of days from my due date, it had already became somewhat of a storage room for all of my new baby things we had purchased and received as gifts. I had decided to get rid of the day bit I built and the apothecary cabinet as well. The hutch in the corner never sold in the time I had it before the baby came, so the week before my due date, I gave it away on my Instagram to whoever was local and willing to pick up. I knew that the nursery most likely would not be ready for when the baby arrived, so my main focus at this point was to organize and get rid of all the things we no longer needed. A changing table was a must whether the room was to my liking or not. I was fortunate enough to be able to redo this dresser and add the top portion to convert it into the changing table that I wanted. It definitely saved a lot of money as opposed to buying a brand new one. I picked up this rocking chair off of Amazon, which is very comfy by the way, and I use it every single night during nighttime wakings and feedings. I will have most of the products linked for you if it isn't something I built, made, or secondhand. I decided on black furniture for the room to keep it neutral and just add a little bit of moodiness without actually changing the wall colors. As after tackling a bathroom renovation, I wanted nothing to do with painting this late in my pregnancy. Because this is only a three bedroom house, we no longer have a spare room for guests or an office, but I didn't want to give those options up just yet. So I did purchase another day bed and had my husband put it together for me. The color does not look how it looked online, by the way, it is definitely more cool toned in person than I would have liked, but I decided to keep it anyway because I didn't want to go through the trouble of returning it. 
As for the desk area, the wallpaper was beginning to peel off, which I was pretty bummed about, so I went ahead and removed it. I would not recommend it for textured walls. And if you hadn't noticed, my belly is missing at this point because baby Luca was already here when I got to this part. So you guys saw me remove the old wallpaper and I bought new wallpaper it's right here. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that it says that it is not meant for textured walls. So I can't use it. I'm going to return that because it was like, I think like $30. I opened one, so I can't return that one, but I can return one of them. But anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to freehand and draw a floral pattern on this area. I figured the area is small enough that it won't drive me too crazy. I'm going to do it with pencil first and then I'll go back with a marker and draw it in with whatever color I want. I think this way at least if I make a mistake I can erase as opposed to just using straight marker. You could also do like something where you project the image onto your wall but I don't have a projector, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just simply going to Google images of floral patterns and whichever one I like is what I'm going to use. I think the new DIY wallpaper design is an easy solution. And if you want to change it back, you can by just painting it. And I like that I feel like it doesn't take away from the baby's area. Most likely, it'll only be a matter of time before I have to move it out completely. But for now, I'll take my little space. After adding a few last minute touches, this is what the nursery ended up to be. For those of you who've been wanting to meet my little man, Lucas says hi and thanks you for being here. We appreciate every single one of you through this entire journey. If you've been here from the beginning, if you've just joined us, we thank you so much for taking the time to watch our videos. Time is flying as he's now just turned three months old and you will likely start seeing him around more often. As always, I love y'all be kind and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.